Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. Let us solve today's DC using Python programming language. The program must accept an integer r and c which are the dimensions of the matrix and a character matrix as input if the character is equal to means it is concrete slab If it is hyphen means it is glass slab. In each column, a iron ball falls. If a iron ball falls directly on a glass slab it will break all the slabs until a concrete slab is met if a iron ball falls directly on a concrete slab means it will break all slabs until Another concrete slab is met. Replace the slabs with X if it is broken. Finally, we have to print the modified matrix. Program must accept two integers R cross R and C and character matrix equal to represents concrete slab, hyphen represents glass slab. In each column, an iron ball falls. If an iron ball falls directly on a glass slab means it will break all slabs until a concrete slab is met. If an iron ball falls directly on a concrete slab it will break all slabs until another concrete slab is met. Let us change the reach here. On concrete slab means it will break all slabs until another concrete slab is reached. And you have to replace all the slabs with X if it is broken. Finally, we have to print the modified matrix. Now, let us consider our test case. This is a 5 cross 5 character matrix. <clears throat> so, equal to equal to represents concrete slab it will break until another concrete slab is reached so let us change this equal to to x and for second column also second column is concrete slab so it will not break and 
in the second column first is concrete so let us change as equal to and it will break until another concrete slab is made so here there is no concrete so we have to change everything to x in the second column now in the third column the first uh, row contains glass slab it will break until another concrete slab is found so let us change this x x x and that's all here the concrete slab and in the fourth column it is also a glass slab so we will change this as x and second row also x and third row concrete is found so it will not break and in the fifth column it contains concrete slab so it will break until another concrete slab is found so x here also x and here also x and concrete is found here so it will not be changed this is the modified matrix which will be our required output now let us see the pseudocode for this problem first we have to accept the input integer r and c and another input character matrix now using for loop and another matrix we are just getting the matrix as list of input dot strip for row in range r we are getting the character matrix as list here because input dot strip of list because we are going to change the character so it will be easy for us so we are getting in list format so now let us iterate over the columns for call in range c and here the columns in the first row are x the iron ball will break the first row so if matrix of zero and call we will replace it as x now after breaking if it is concrete slab means it will break until concrete slab is found if it is a glass glass slab means it will also break until concrete slab is found so we have to iterate over the rows and check for our condition for row in range r if matrix of row call equal to equal to concrete that is equal to means we have to break this loop else matrix of row call equal to we have to replace it with x and finally we have to print the modified character matrix as our output now this is nothing but first we are iterating over the columns and whether it is a concrete or glass the columns in the first row will be broken and if it is concrete means it will break until 
concrete slab is reached glass means it will also break until concrete is reached so we are assigning the first row as x here and if a row call equal to equal to that is concrete means we are just breaking the loop else we are just uh, assigning x to it and finally we are printing the modified matrix as our output